How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Just giving you my quick and dirty thoughts on Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is a 2010 action platform game developed by Good Feel, not HAL Laboratories as previous installments in the series, and published by Nintendo for the Wii. Now guys, I've played a lot of Kirby games over the years. I played the original that came out on the NES, I played all the Kirby games that were released on the Game Boy, all fantastic games. I own the Kirby release uh, Nightmare in Dreamland on the Game Boy Advance. Did not play Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, skipped over that one. Never played Kirby Air Ride for the GameCube. Have not played any of the recent Kirby games that were released on the Nintendo Switch. One of these days I will, of course. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things, especially with regards to the most recent recent entry in the series. Uh, that one looks fantastic. That being said, let me tell you guys, Kirby's Epic Yarn is the best Kirby game that I have ever played. I know that's a bold statement. This game basically has everything in spades. Let's start with the graphics. Or, shall I say, the aesthetic. The game is beautiful. It looks like everything is made out of yarn. The way that you're able to sort of jump in and out of the environments is just one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a video game. This is a prime example of a game that lends itself perfectly to low resolution, such as 720p on the Nintendo Wii, or you could even take it a step further and play this game on a CRT. And so when you're playing it on a CRT as an example, or like I said, low resolution on a old, old school plasma, you're gonna get that nice soft picture which lends itself perfectly to this, again, beautiful aesthetic of the game. If you were to play this game in high resolution, in 1080p 4K on a Nintendo Switch, if this game ever gets a re-release, not to say that it won't look good, but it's going to lose some of what made this game really special. Like I said, the soft, low resolution lends itself perfectly to this style of game. You've got an incredible score in this game. It's orchestral. At times, it's almost like you think you're listening to an Elton John album. The music is so damn good in this game. It is some of the best I have ever heard in a video game. What can you say about it? It's, it's a Kirby game. It plays a little bit differently as far as the gameplay is concerned. The main focus here, you're not really sucking the enemies in like you are in traditional Kirby games. In this one here, you almost have almost like a last suit and you can pull enemies towards you and then you can take them and you can shoot them out at other enemies. There's eight worlds in this game. It doesn't seem like a long game when you're looking at how many worlds there are but once you start playing the game it is a bit of a marathon it is it took me about four or five nights to complete this game it's not a difficult game it does have its tricky moments but you can't actually die in the game the most that will happen is you will lose all of your beads which you're trying to collect as you progress through each stage and if you lose your beads Again, it doesn't really do a whole lot. It's just when you're collecting the beads at the end of the level, um, you can get special perks and, and, and additional points and things of that nature. And, and when you're going through the level, there, there, there are special things that you can collect. And if you collect everything available at the end of the level, you can unlock special levels in each world as well, which I have not done yet. At the end of each level or land, there is actually a boss battle. And like I said, some of them actually get quite tricky. But all, be all that being said, I had a blast playing this game from start to finish. Uh, this game expertly uses the Wii uh, functionality of the Wii mode. Uh, it's not gimmicky at all. You don't have to hook this up to the nunchuck or anything crazy like that you simply just use the Wiimote and the only time you have to use the motion sensor controls 
is, as an example, there's one level where you turn into a tank and you move it, you move the Wii remote side to side to be able to shoot up and down. It's, it, it, it lends itself perfectly to, to the motion controls of the Nintendo Wii. Folks, this game, I don't really do this too often. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This was a perfect game in every way. It was the perfect length, incredible score, graphics were top notch. The game, you can pick it up for next to nothing right now, it's about $20. It was just a fantastic experience. The whole time I had a smile on my face playing this game. Now there was a sequel to this game, loosely loosely a sequel and that was Yoshi's Woolly World which was released on the Nintendo 3DS and later re-released on the Nintendo Wii U. That is very much a sister game to Kirby's Epic Yarn also developed by Good Feel. I don't know why Nintendo has not released Kirby's Epic Yarn and Yoshi's Woolly World as a combo pack HD remaster for the Nintendo Switch. They really should. But this is, this is one of the best games you can play on the Nintendo Wii. And like I said, it is exclusive to the Wii. And it is a must play. You think it's a kid's game? You look at the cover? Don't kid yourself. You can get lost in this game. It is so chill to come home after work and just sit back and, and play a chill game like this. It was just what the doctor ordered. I freaking loved this game. It was amazing, amazing. I love, 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 love Kirby's Epic Yarn. I don't know, uh, Ken, if you're watching this, I don't know if you played this game or not, but it is fantastic. It is amazing. So that's, that's pretty much it. Just a short, quick and dirty final thoughts on Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh, right now, I am actually in the midst of playing through uh, the new Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown game, which was released on modern consoles. I'm playing through that right now. So I'm going to put out a, an initial impressions video on that because that game will take quite a while for me to beat. And I've also uh, picked up a new Sega Genesis game, which I want to talk about a little bit later on as well. So keep a lookout for those videos coming down the pipeline soon. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.